Hello, Korean American studies scholars. I have some exciting news to share with you all. As you know, our course has been receiving a lot of attention because it's a first of a kind. It's a first of a kind. Dr. Jeff Kim says he came up with the idea for the course as he saw the increasing number of anti-Asian hate incidents. Korean American story is a great American story. And so wonderful the work that you're already doing to know, tell, your story of resilience and then also to listen to one another with empathy and respect and then finally to do something good with your story. So a group reached out to me and uh, our class has been selected to be a part of Invent to Prevent. Uh, basically uh, what they're doing is leveraging student networks to prevent targeted violence. And you know when, t when you're having an opportunity to know and tell your stories, that is a powerful way to fight bias and hate. So this uh, organization, Invent to Prevent, is actually sponsored by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. They actually have a division that just focuses on prevention. And I can see our course doing something really special to kind of show the way in many ways, um, how to build peace, how to build community, how to connect with one another, because although it is a Korean American Studies course, the application of it can apply to Asian American Studies courses or other ethnic studies courses or uh, curricular relevant pedagogy across the curriculum, whatever class uh, you're in. So you're doing work that could be beneficial in pretty much any classroom. And we uh, want to model this for ourselves, of course, in our Korean American Studies class, but also for the world. And so this is a platform to do that. Uh, Tony Secro, the CEO of this company, personally gave me uh, this slide deck where he shared out on Invent to Prevent. And it, I thought it was so well shared. Uh, he was actually just presenting to me and another teacher, but I felt like I was at a conference or something like that. He just, that kind of dynamic speaker. I hope one day uh, you'll have a chance to also hear him uh, uh, speak as well. And let me share a little bit about what this program is exactly. So what is Invent to Prevent? Uh, it challenges high school, but I want you to know that this is actually in universities as well to develop peer develop uh, products, tools, and initiatives to prevent targeted uh, violence and hate that makes their schools and communities safer. So uh, what can we develop uh, to make our schools and communities safer. And I've talked about your stories of resilience are so powerful and you also helping others to know and tell their stories. These peer developed products is what we're looking at because I, I know I can communicate uh, and I can reach a certain audience, but you can also communicate and reach an audience that I can't reach because you're so connected with the group, right? Students, your peers. Um, so we have an operating budget of uh, $1,000 for this. And so we'll talk about how we're going to use that. Once again, there's a number of organizations that support this. Uh, I talked about the uh, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, so many more other groups. Um, and uh, once again, this peer-to-peer -peer approach to uh, address, let's say, hate in our country or it could be so many other uh topics as well uh that's what many other uh schools have done and uh our korean american studies uh class is definitely um gonna uh, show some innovative work with our stories of resilience uh, these projects have been making a difference all over the world so you can know that you're part of something big um it, once again it's in the high school and the university and it could be done in a class club or independent study. Now, for the purposes of our class, we're going to do it in our current American studies class. But then especially I'm thinking about creating a group that meets after our Korean American studies. So we're going to meet from 730 to 830 for our Korean American studies class. But then I'm thinking from 830 uh, on, it'll be a, a group of folks who want to do this. So if you're like, I want to do this, I want to lead in this. That is a group that we're going to be uh, creating to be a part of this invent to prevent group. And as you listen to more, maybe you're going to think, yeah, I definitely want to do that and want to let Dr. Kim know that I want to be a part of that as well. Once again, we're getting this opportunity because we we're selected. So that's really awesome. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, this leadership group after our Kore uh, Korean American Studies course is going to be 
that group for our Korean American Studies class. Uh, so once again, you'll be connecting with me, but there'll be some other advisors, uh, potentially professors, uh, and then we'll have an uh, opportunity to have our voice amplified as well through this group. Oh, did I tell you that uh, there's some uh, definite benefits to being a part of something like this? Uh, first of all, like uh, there's a competition award. We can win uh, finances for our school. So high school teams are competing for $9,000 in awards and collegiate teams, 18,000, but also uh, scholarships as well, potentially up to 5,000 uh, per student. So this could be a scholarship opportunity for some of you. Like, you know the work we're doing? I think it's pretty awesome. So let's say we make it to the finals. You could be the kind of person that might receive a scholarship from this organization. So on that day, of course, uh, we're gonna probably um, uh, be uh, choosing a topic or oh, actually our work will be choosing a topic finding our target audience pitching our ideas uh, receiving feedback and recommendations and uh, launching our no tell listen do uh, approach so they do have some curriculum and materials that we may want to take a look at uh, once again there's that team of people that we can also invite to work uh, with us and then if we get selected, uh, not every uh, location will be selected, but the three finalist teams, I would love to think that our first of a kind Korean American Studies class has an amazing idea through your stories of resilience and building community, building peace uh, in not just our school, but as you are the ethnographers, diversity, equity, inclusion, justice, belonging consultants, as you're going to various places, you are also creating more peace, understanding, and community as others share their stories of resilience and as you help them to do so. So if we go, they will actually provide an all expense paid trip to Washington DC to present our project. And we'll be competing against all the different schools in Washington DC if we are selected. It'd be so great just to even be selected and have that wonderful uh, experience and opportunity. And you can imagine um, since it's in Washington, D.C., there's a reason because that's where our policymakers are, our representatives who make decisions for our great country, and they're very interested in this work. So it wouldn't surprise me. In fact, they were mentioning uh, that oftentimes uh, congressmen or your representatives, your leaders, uh, the leaders of our country oftentimes come to these places and want to meet with students, hear your ideas, and definitely want to meet you as well. So um, let's see. In addition to the scholarships, what are some of the benefits for something like this? Well, first of all, if you have a great idea, uh, the Department of Homeland Security might even sustain this work. So yeah, it was a idea for a class, but they could actually fund the idea uh, to strengthen it and um, amplify the work that you've done and uh, scale it up a little bit, right? What are some other benefits? Would this look good for your resume, do you think? I mean, once again, uh, in our class, I don't like to do say, hey, we're doing this uh, um, only for college or anything like that. But I do want to support you with your goals. And I know your goals include going to college and uh, getting a meaningful job. And I want to support you with that. So would an activity like this support you with that? With resume building, college applications. I mean, you get these experiences. Sometimes it gives you like connection to government grants and future partnerships could lead to speaking opportunities, which once again, you can fund your resume, but it's also great experience. Uh, you know, in this class, we've already gotten a lot of media attention. Some of our students have been on NBC News. Uh, they've had a chance to be a part of EdSource. So more opportunities like that. So lots of benefits to being a part of something like this. Uh, and so, um, and at the end, there's a showcase, like what is it that you did? So in this class, we're doing so much already. We're kind of beginning with our own stories of resilience, but we're not gonna just leave it there. We're gonna know how to help others also tell their stories of resilience. And that's gonna be exciting. Exciting work that comes from you guys. It's this leadership group that we're gonna be creating. Maybe it's what we call it CAS uh, Leadership, Korean American Studies Leadership, a group that we'll meet after class. I wanna know who's in, who wants to do this. Uh, so if you're like, hey, you've got a lot of projects going on already and you don't want another thing, this is not for you. This is like, uh, this is so interesting for you. Uh, as you're doing these ethnographies in this class, you are like so passionate about what you're doing and it's uh, you know changing you and you can see this being beneficial for others too. 
uh, you're excited about the project of potentially sh uh, showcasing this work in Washington, D.C. if we were selected. If you're that kind of person um, that wants to provide leadership for our class in that kind of way, that's the person I want to know uh, that wants to be a part of this group. So um, if you're interested, then definitely uh, email me back, letting me know you're interested. And maybe I'll even be putting some type of other form together. And we'll definitely be talking about it in class as well. But I want to know if you're interested in this. If you're passionate about it, if you are, great. And if you're not, that's okay too. There's it's, uh, there's so many wonderful things we're doing in our class. And I know you're doing many wonderful things outside your class. That's okay. But if you are interested in this, I want to know. This is Dr. Kim signing out.